you are watching Redicon. Gaon's canal is a fibrosis tunnel located along the volar and medial aspect of the wrist and it extends from the pisiform bone, bone to the hook of the hamate and spans a 4 cm distance. It contains fat and ulnar neurovascular bundle and it may well be the site of ulnar nerve compression. So at the level of pisiform bone, which is here, is the proximal part where the ulnar nerve sits uh, medial to the artery. So that's the ulnar nerve here, just hugging the uh, pisiform bone and the ulnar neurovascular bundle or ulnar artery is uh, more on the lateral side. So it's a very narrow space, so imagine if there's a, even a small ganglion that can easily cause ulnar neuropathy. More distantly at the level of hook of hamate, so that's uh, H indicates the hook of the hamate here. Uh, the ulnar nerve divides into superficial and deep part. The superficial is the sensory part and deep is the motor branch. And uh, the motor branch supplies all uh, the muscles, uh, quite a few muscles within the palm, uh, uh, abductor digiti minimi, flexor, and opponents digiti minimi and adductor pollicis and uh, some lumbricals and introse muscles. So what are the causes of compression of ulnar nerve in the Gaon's canal? It can be extrinsic compression due to ganglion cysts, lipomas, hematomas or due to pisiform tricuteral osteoarthritis. There may be accessory muscles like accessory abductor digiti minimi or very rare chance of ulnar artery aneurysm that might be causing ulnar nerve compression. In trauma, the pisiform or hamate fractures uh, or bursitis uh, due to repetitive microinjury can cause symptoms of ulnar neuropathy. So what you do, axial T1 and fat set or stir sequences are quite adequate to look in this area. So you can see here, axial T1 here, see this fluid field uh, or intermediate signal intensity structure. So the ulnar nerve is here, close to the pisiform, which is here and that's the ulnar artery. When you see the stir, you see this fluid field structure just pushing the ulnar nerve away towards the pisiform and the ulnar artery is just beside it, so that can easily cause uh, uh, ulnar nerve compression and symptoms to the patient. This video is presented in collaboration with Radicon Institute of Radiology. You are welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for updates. For more modules in radiology CMEs, please visit our website www.radicon.org.